good morning everyone so today we are going to see a case study in the topic application of matrices and uh, determinant okay uh, this is the part one and uh, uh, next case study we will see some more application of matrices and determinant okay. so uh, where are all the place we can apply matrices and determinants so Heron's formula First one is Heron's formula, and uh, which is which will be useful in finding the uh, area of the triangle. So that you may study in lower classes the Heron's formula, and uh, another area is the geometric techniques and uh, determinants, uh, extending Cramer's rule to larger systems, uh, benefits of Cramer's rule, problems with Cramer's rule, and uh, encryption process and uh, decryption process. So these are all the areas. Uh, uh, we can apply matrices and determinant. Okay, first uh, let's come from the basic uh, area of the triangle. So already you may know what is the area of the triangle. So area of the triangle means uh, it's a half into base into height. Okay, so if three vertices of a triangle is given, we can be able to find out the area of the triangle. Um, if it is a right angle triangle, uh, it would be pretty easy to compute the area of the triangle by finding one half of the product of the base and the height. Uh, and every time uh, it's not compulsion that always uh, all the triangle should be in right angle format. So if uh, we are not provided with the right triangle, there are a couple of other ways uh, that the area can be found out. So the triangle can be enclosed in your rectangle. So this is a geometric technique uh, that we are seeing how we are going to find out uh, uh, area of the triangle through geometrical techniques. So vertices of the triangle will intersect the rectangle in three places definitely uh, forming three right triangles. These triangles are denoted by A, B and C in the picture. So the picture will be uh, shown to you at the last. Uh, the area of the triangle will we desire will be the area of the rectangle minus the area of the three, three triangles. The legs of the three triangles can be found out by simple subtraction of coordinates and then used to find out the area since the area of the triangle is one half of the base of base times the height so let us see the things okay and this is the you are having these uh, three vertices of the triangle 1 comma 5 minus 2 comma 2 and uh, 6 comma minus 1 which intersects a rectangle at three places so if you closely look out these triangles there are some other places there is a place a and there is a place B and there is a place C. It forms a right angle triangle. Okay. So just uh, look at this side. A, B, C. 1, 5, 6, minus 1. And this side, B side. It will form a right angle triangle. Three right angle triangle. Once if I want to find out the area of this red, uh, red colored triangle. What I have to do. I, have, I, can, I, I know the area of the rectangle formula. From this area of the rectangle formula, I can easily subtract the three sides, uh, three right angle triangle which it formed. I can neglect it. So deleting those things from the area of the triangle, area of the rectangle, area of the rectangle, I can easily find out the area of the required triangle, whatever be the types of the triangle. So area of the triangle A. So area of the triangle A is uh, uh, half into bh so base is a 3 and height height is also 3 half into 3 into 3 side so becomes the area of the triangle which uh, contains the side a is 9 by 2 and area of the triangle b so area of the triangle b is uh, uh, this is the base is 5 and the height is 6 so it becomes half into base into height so it becomes a 15 square units and area of the triangle c this triangle so base is 8 centimeter and uh, uh, height is 3 centimeters so therefore the area of the triangle containing the side c will be equal to uh, 12 centimeter so what is the sum of this all the triangles right angle triangles uh, 9 by 2 plus 15 plus 12 which is 63 by 2 that is 31.5 square units now coming to area of the rectangle Area of the triangle is base times height, so it becomes a length into breadth, so it becomes a, a 8 into 6, so it becomes a 48 square units. So from this, the area of the triangle is in the middle. Area of the triangle in the middle is the, what is the area of the triangle in the middle? So area of the rectangle minus 3 
into uh, three times uh, three uh, sum of the three triangles okay sum of the area of the three outer triangles so 48 minus 31.5 so the area of the uh, triangle in the middle is 16.5 so this is the normal geometric method we can apply to find out the area of the triangles so, so what, what else another method we are having we are having determinant method so it turns out that the area of the triangle can also be found using determinant and the derivation of the formula is kind of long and most of you don't care to see it so it is a separate page uh, what do what you do is yes, uh, form a 3 by 3 determinant where the first column are the x for all the points the second columns are the y's for all the points and the last column is all ones okay so let us see the same diagram i am using the x coordinate as the first column what is the x coordinate minus 2 6 1 so that i put it in the first column and second column is all the y coordinate 2 minus 1 5 and i put it in the second column and last column all are ones so you know how to expand the determinant so you yeah, have expanding the determinant you will get the answer minus 33 and uh, half minus 33 always area cannot be negative so we have to take the positive value so we have to take a modulus of minus 33 it becomes 33 so 33 by 2 is a 16.5 which was the required area what we already interpret through geometrical methods so geometrical methods also we have found out uh, the same 16.5 and in determinant method also we are ha we have found out the same area 16.5 so what, what is the collinear points uh, we can use uh, we can uh, find what is the collinear point uh, if three points lie on a same line then that points are said to be collinear points so how to find out these three points so once if you are provided with three points we must be able to uh, tell whether these points are collinear or not so uh, one way of finding the collinear points is <coughs> sorry uh, one way of finding the collinear point is uh, uh, finding the area of the triangle. So, for finding the area of the triangle, once if the area of the triangle is equal to 0, then we can automatically say these points are collinear points. So, uh, there are so many methods we are having to find out the collinear points. Uh, through by determinant method, through by slope and uh, through by distance formula and through by finding the equation of the line and through by finding the direction ratios. Uh, in vector format there are so many methods we are having you can be able to find out uh, the three points are collinear or not okay and uh, thus uh, if the matrix is equal to zero if the determinant value is equal to test what is the test for collinear points if the determinant value is equal to zero then that three points are said to be collinear points okay and uh, which is a familiar one one of the most important application of matrix is uh, uh, solving the system of uh, linear equations so here uh, one example you are provided with 3x plus 5y equal to 12 and 2x minus 4y equal to 9 and uh, you know the ordinary methods how to solve it we, have, we come across the substitution method elimination method uh, method of cross multiplication in the lower classes in uh, higher level in college level what we see is a Cramer's rule so how to solve uh, a system of linear equation using Cramer's rule okay so these are familiar method so we have to take the first uh, the coefficient of the matrix we have to take as a 2 by 2 determinant so, uh, it contains two equation and two variables so it becomes a 2 by 2 determinant value so we have to consider it as d and in the original matrix the first column will be replaced by the constant one 12 9 5 minus 4 and evaluate uh, the determinant value that is uh, 12 into minus 4 minus 48 uh, minus 45 so it becomes minus 93 and the same way in the original matrix replace 5 and minus 4 with 12 by 9 12 9 and i expand the determinant you will get 3 and uh, the we have to solve means we have to find out the value of x and y x is nothing but dx divided by d that is nothing but 93 divided by 2 and y is nothing but dy divided by d that becomes 3 by minus 22 so the value of x and y are this so uh, for a simple techniques that we already studied in 12th standard why we have to use Cramer's rule is it so necessary to find out the Cramer's rule means yes it is absolutely necessary we have we need such methods why we need such methods if it is a two variables two equation means it is easy to find out the solution by using manually by using uh, um, uh, substitution method or elimination method but if i uh, just to consider if you are having three variables and three equations it will be a little bit difficult and uh, if you can uh, just consider four equation four variables can you able to solve it if, uh, if it contains five equation and five variables is it possible manually 
by elimination method or substitution method is definitely not possible. So at that process, at that time of point of view, we are we have to use Kramer's rule. Once uh, programming has to be done for solving the system of equation, means always uh, um, a programmer use uh, uh, Kramer's rule to find out the solution of the equation. Whatever be the variables, if the n m if n is defined, uh, then automatically the program will call that much of variables are. So even if you are having 100 equation, 100 variables, we can able to solve by Kramer's rule. But manual method like a substitution method, elimination method uh, is too tedious to find out uh, uh, the system of uh, linear equations. So benefits of Kramer's rule, determinant can be found on calculator for large systems. Calculator In calculator, we can able to find out the determinant value. Uh, if you need just one variable, you can find it with a Kramer's rule. Whereas with other techniques, you would have to find all the variables. Okay. So problems with Kramer's rules uh, take a long time to re-enter each matrix into the calculator to find the determinant. Best suited for a computer or calculator program. Requires a square system. So these are all the uh, applications or uh, usefulness of Kramer's rule why we are adopting. Okay. So hope uh, these are all the links uh, and uh, thank you and hope you will enjoy it. Uh, and uh, next uh, case study, we will see the advanced level of uh, uh, applications of matrices and determinant. Okay, thank you.